Hey there, Brian here, in case you didn't know, beaming in from my Christmas grotto just to wish you a very happy Christmas, whatever you're doing. I hope you're having as good a time as it's possible to have in these slightly odd and challenging, or very odd and challenging circumstances that we're all living in. But hey, you gotta make your amusement where you can, right? Um, also, hang on, let me take off the right pair of glasses. These are the fake glasses, these are the real glasses. So um, I can see you properly now. I also wanted to just take this opportunity to say that um, I have got some interesting things coming down the pipeline in the new year. So a number of you know that I have been working on a novel. No, I'm not about to announce that the novel is ready, it's not ready. Um, the novel is still happening, I am still working on it, but it is now simmering in the background of my mind. It's a way somewhere back there because um, I needed to take a bit of a break from it. Um, many of you know that my father passed away in May of this year and if I'm really honest I had kind of in my mind thought that I would really like to get the novel written and out there for him to read before he passed away and that just wasn't wasn't possible it just there were other things for me to concentrate on and I've got no regrets about concentrating on being with him and and you know providing as much care and support as I could to him and my mum um, so the novel took a back burner during all of that and and since he passed away if I'm honest I've not felt quite ready to go back to it I think it would just feel a little bit too raw um, but I will get back to it. It is a novel that is going to be written and it's now simmering on the back burner like a good long cooked delicious stew and when it's ready um, I'll let you know. However, because the novel is on the back burner there are some other things that I have brought very much onto the front burner of my intentions for the new year and a lot of it revolves around this channel and my online presence and tarot. Uh, so here is the skinny on all of that. I am working on a tarot book, a tarot course, at least one, and just amping up my online presence. Um, not just around tarot, but around some other related things as well. So you may have seen that I'm becoming more active on Instagram and if you don't follow me over there already what on earth are you doing of course you should because I'm sharing amazing things on there well kind of amazing I'm trying to make them as amazing as possible um, I'm sharing spreads and quotes and ideas and I'm getting to grips with the whole kind of Instagram thing I'm a bit late to the Instagram Instagram it's hard to say that well, well Instagram let me put my teeth back in Instagram party but I'm getting there and uh, and it is a fun and friendly place to be. So I'm enjoying connecting with people there and I hope you will join me. Uh, the link for that is below. And also I'm getting more active on my, uh, well, not so much on my Facebook page, although that's, that's happening a bit as well, but certainly in my Facebook group, Tarot to the Nines. So if you're not um, already a member of that, it's, it's completely free to join, then I hope you will become a member because we're having great conversations over there. It's a group that I set up uh, originally to accompany my free video series Tarot to the Nines which you can watch on this this very channel where you are now um, but it's actually kind of developed and morphed on a bit from that and is now um, really a group that is uh, a more generic kind of group for people who are tarot enthusiasts and of course the people in that group are going to be among the very first people to hear about my tarot developments in terms of my book and my courses. So uh, I highly recommend that you become a member of that group so you can be kept up to date. And another way to be up to date is to get on my mailing list. And the way you do that is by downloading my free tarot guide, Tarot Cards as Wisdom Coaches. It's a, it's a guide that um, I know that many of you have, but if you haven't got it, what it does is it provides five empowering questions for each one of the 22 major arcana cards and um, so that's like 110 questions in all actually a few extra are snuck in there because uh, some questions are actually more than one question kind of coupled together so I sneakily have added in some extra questions um, and thank you to those of you who've been in touch with me who've already downloaded it and who um, 
have been using it and have said that you've you found it useful. So I know that there are people who are using it for their individual tarot practice, they're using it for uh, contemplative uh, practices where they, they select a card and they work with uh, one or more of the questions it's provided. Um, I've got coaches who are working with it and have used it in their coaching sessions. I've got counsellors and therapists who are using it. So um, I'm really gratified to see that people have found it useful. And the exciting thing is, um, although that guide covers only the 22 major arcana cards, I actually have similar empowering questions for every one of the cards in the deck. So um, I'll be doing something more with that uh, soon too. So um, what else do I need to tell you? Oh yeah, so, so if you sign up for that then you're on my mailing list and as these new developments happen I will be of course getting in touch with you and letting you know what's coming down the pipeline. And in the new year I'm going to be releasing another free tarot based guide. I'm not going to tell you what it's about yet because it's top secret. Um, but as soon as it's not top secret, I will let you know on this channel and in my Facebook group and on my mailing list and and on Instagram and everywhere else I hang out online. So anyway, what I'm basically saying in all of this great long ramble is I want you to be in touch with me because I want you to be among the first people that learn about the new stuff uh, that's coming along down the pipeline. So it's been a tough year, 2020. There is no doubt about that for a number of reasons and for different reasons for all of us, I'm sure, and for some similar reasons for all of us as well. Uh, it has been a tough year, um, but I'm hopeful that 2021 is going to be a better one. And I'm also very committed to doing everything I can to help you have a better 2021 in your tarot practice and just generally in your in your life um, uh, and obviously I can support you partly in terms of how uh, towards that I can support you in terms of how we constructively use the tarot to coach our ourselves uh, and other people to a better and more more fulfilling life and that really is what much of my future tarot output is going to be about so that I think is my Christmas message for 2020. Um, it cannot compete with the Queen's Christmas message, I know, but I've done my best. So again, may I wish you all Merry Christmas. And when it comes, let me get these back on. Elton John never has these problems. When it comes, a very happy 2020. Ho, ho, ho.